We've got Martha Sun, Daniel, and an egg. Just kidding, it's Ryan. They're playing video games. Shut up, it's about to start. Hey, everybody. Hello, Dan and Mathis. Hello, everybody. Hello. What do we got here, Ryan Gary? Oh, oh no. <laughs> you left. <laughs> Be careful, there's sharks out there. What are we playing here today, boys? We're playing uh, a co op survival game called Raft. Uh, it's just three dudes hanging out on a, you know, four square foot tile in the open ocean. How do you think we got out here? Dude, obviously, we our ship was taken over by marauding pirates. I'm oh. the captain now style. All right, you guys know what's up. So you, you, or you seem to at least. You use your hook. Your hook allows you to fish for mats. You're geniuses. Those <laughs> mats can be used to expand the size of our raft and also Ooh. craft things that could uh, help us survive. Because as you can see, we have a, a food meter, a water meter, and a health meter. So like, really, food and water are the big thing to start with. But sharks will come and like try to eat our raft eventually. And us. Oh yeah, Kate knows this one too. Okay. Kurt. You can fight a kraken apparently at, at one Ooh. point. It was so, a sea of thieves. Come on now. I will say I have no memory whatsoever of how to craft things. Hit tab. Tab. Ooh. You genius. So, so basically, this is like survival honkers. You you honk to survive. <laughs> it's like somebody liked survival games and that one Mario Party mini game where you fish for money bags. And Dude, it's gotta. I like the gimmick. The I gotta them. be honest. It doesn't require you to actually do any work. So I the, believe the stuff, the stuff comes to you. In order to expand the raft, you need to make a hammer. Yes. Correct. And a hammer requires rope. And rope requires... I don't know, but I made a hammer. <laughs> Yo, Mathis, do you, you want to share, uh, teach a man to fish, for example? Learn yourself, baby. That's what terrible is, advice. Well, he, just, he expanded I'm, the raft. I, oh. I built a hammer, uh, and, I, and then I and then I crafted an extra. Yeah, so Dan, with tab, you should be able to see if you can craft Make... some new goodness here. Okay. And a comes... uh, hammer allows you to expand the raft, and then we probably want to get like some water going in particular. A spear would also be good uh, because when the shark comes, you can stab him in the nose to get Ooh. him to go away. I'll tell you, I appreciate they have a for someone who's been on a boat, you know. Uh, they have a uh, seasick mode. Instant oh, click. dude, that's an instant click for me. I am actually going to turn that on as well. I didn't even know there was such a thing. Yeah. I uh, I don't really get seasick, but you know, motion sickness have, in general. Dude, one too many cups of coffee. You play this game. Uh, <laughs> and I don't know what it is, but the nausea starts pumping a little bit. I'm jamming cool. that FOV way up. So on some lore perspective here, what are we? What are these hooks? And why do we have them? Um, what do you think like, they're made of? They're, they're literally made of plastic garbage and wood. <laughs> really? Yeah, you can make one yourself. That's my <laughs> honker. Uh, wait, excuse me, mode. boys, boys. Uh, is there is there a shark over there? We're literally behind you, Ryan. It's it's biting your. All right. What? Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, save him! Save him! Oh, <laughs> dude, I'm not. What, what am I supposed to do about a shark right now? I don't have anything to fight. Do you have a hammer? Off. Bonk him in the face. I'm not gonna waste my precious hammer to bonk him. <laughs> Wait, can we go on this island or no? Uh, I think... Last I played, the islands were not accessible. I thought I saw someone play a little recently, and they were definitely like stationary mm. near an island. Oh, so these, there's also these other rafts over here that have a lot of resources. Mm -hmm. Was there people yeah. on it? No, but. There will be like a treasure chest. I know you're you, you love them. <laughs> All right, I just want to make I want to expand to the point where we're comfortable on this thing before we worry about much else. Oh, I, I agree with that, but I'm also going to, you know, maybe get a little bit of water filtration going on because I'm that's, I don't that's know about like Ryan thing to do. <laughs> well, I, I prefer to not die if possible. <laughs> well, well, you see in Vancouver, all our watering is is reverse triple osmosis. I don't uh, want a hint of iron in my water. It comes from <laughs> the glaciers nearby. The glaciers? Um, no, that's that's great. Yeah, we all have a role to fill. All right, <laughs> so I'll, I'll focus on water. But let me know if you get leaves 
I could use some leaves. We can definitely drop things for other people. I got I've four got... leaves for you. Oh, wait, wait. I, I can't remember how we do this. You either hook the raft or you like you can hook on to it. So Mattis! Oh, oh. <laughs> Like, right. oh, Mattis gets it quick and then he comes over. Yep. That's, that's right. Very, okay. That's very Mattis-like. It's got to go. Well, you know, what'd you get? Uh, just some plastic. <laughs> oh! Now, uh, plastic and a recipe for fruit compote. Compote. Oh, dude, Ooh. dessert. There you go. It's four different fruits. Does it's anyone have any right. any rope? I'll, I can drop this leaf for you, Ryan. Well, you might be able to craft rope. I'm just. It's not that you don't. Oh. It's not that I disbelieve you, but if you go to no. resources, which is the screw, you might just be able to. Thank you much, sir. I do need the leaves and two more planks. Uh, yeah. How do you want to drop a leaf? I oh, don't go. know. Oh, I dropped all fifteen of them right, right you have behind 15 you. Fifteen leaves. Yeah, right behind you. All right, give me one sec, dude. I'm just grabbing. Okay. So you you guys should also, I think, craft a cup so you can use the water purifier. <laughs> All right. There's a. Now we've got some space. All right. So I'm gonna put down. A water purifier. You know what? Water is at the center of the human experience. I'm going to put it in the center of the raft. All right. I want to get a spear up, so I need eight planks and three rope total. Mattis, you ever hear about um, the rule of three when it comes to survival? But death always comes in three? That is... <laughs> that's a celebrity thing, Dan. That's the celebrity. So you yes, better watch yeah. your back. Excuse no, me? it's a real thing. It's a real thing. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it's real. Like, like, it is something you know people guys. say... So when one person you know dies, there's two other people you know that are gonna die too. Well, that's why I only know an <laughs> even amount of people, so that can never happen. <laughs> Hold on, empty cup well, requires the, four plastic. What was the rule of three in regards to this game? It, you say? can survive three days without water. And what, three weeks without food? Three weeks without food. And I forget the other one. It was like three. I mean, it's not three hours without shelter, but you know, they like all rules of threes. You got you got to make some compromises, you know, in order to. I got the food handled here, boys. Get it to work. Place. Oh, okay. So you use planks to put in the water purifier, and then I think we need to like light it up. Let's go. Sorry, I got a raw palm for it. Who's cooking up the sushi tonight, boys? Dude, we don't have any. <laughs> we don't have any water. <laughs> yeah. What do we need water to cook? No, we don't have any water to drink. Oh, you get water from the fish. <laughs> uh, so we need to put planks down here, and then yeah, I think it's already planked up. And then you I take just... your water cup, you fill it with salt water. Oh, then it, maybe it just heats up. Then place a it... cup of water here. Yeah. And there you go. Okay. So everybody should craft a cup from four plastic once you get a chance. Yeah. Gotcha. And then it just takes a minute to heat up. Mathis, I don't want to, you know, I know it's your cup. You mind if I, uh, yeah, sip if away. I drink? I mean, I'm, we're, we're, I, we're in this together in the middle of the ocean. I started the server, so I'm in a little bit of a dehydrated state. Yeah, yeah, drink up, I mean. drink up. And There's then I'll fill up another cup yeah. and go ahead I'll, and, I'll uh, take care of the food, boys. The, you guys. Okay. We just got to get a grill up and we'll begin. I'm also, yeah, I'm going to make a grill. If we need uh, two more rope, and I can make one. Actually, I can make one right now. Oh, dude. Let's go. Simple grill. So far, so good. Yeah. Let's put this here. Uh, excuse right. me. Did somebody drink the purified water? I did not. I did Daniel. not. No, no, I did not. Oh, I what have I done, dude? Here, I'll place my cup of water. Uh, oh, right. you gotta planks. fill your cup first. Yeah. Can we? we yeah, there you go. How Here many? Comes the shark. You... I'm gonna. Dude, honestly, I might just make a second purifier. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. Keep in mind, by the way, your hook's probably gonna run out of durability soon. Too. Uh -huh. Yeah, if anything gets close, you can just hit E to pick it up. You don't have to use your hook. Oh, look at that beautiful moonrise. <laughs> uh, okay, you're... Oh, the water's done there. Yeah. S excuse me, sir. Uh, what do we... We need more planks. How do I... 
Yo, with fresh, I'm, yo with fresh we're water. cooking. We're cooking, boys. Oh, that's what you gotta do. You gotta have an empty cup, Ryan. Can you? I I just beg you, you to go. stay away from the water filtration device for a couple of seconds <laughs> so that I can learn to use it without it being clicked on. I'm I'm yep. get I'm past that little uh, aperture right now, which seems to indicate you know I'll be dead soon. So you won't die, I promise. Well, it would just help me out if I were able to <laughs> consume the water that is being filtered here. Dan's doing a little fish cooking dance. Yeah. Do you think it'll tell me when it's done, or you think it's just done, done? Uh, it should. When you hover over it, it should probably it'll probably say like, Ooh. yeah, there you go. Who wants to eat the first fishy fish? Palm Freddy. I guess that would be mad. Um, I, yeah, sure. Please do. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know how your cooking is. Uh, let's Can't be any worse than your, here. than your garbage haddock. Yo, get a little I mean, tilapia. That's true. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with that? Uh, delicious. Uh, he's he's harkening back to my Applebee's days. I don't oh. know if I want to go go through that story for the 90th time, but uh, <laughs> it's always a good one. I'm not proud of it. But I was also like 19 years old, and that's my excuse. Doink. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, Raft is a lot of fun for, like, a survival game. Dude, get out of here, you stinky shark. Get out of here! I got a oh, spear if he shows up. I'm so. I'm dumb, and I accidentally built three extensions to our raft instead of an extra water purifier. My bad. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and drink when up we, this fresh when water. When do we get some solar panel LED lights on this bad boy? You know what? Mouth, just relax for two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need some water. Yeah, yeah. That's, I'm gonna build a, a second purifier just so we got redundancy there. Okay. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the rule of three. Uh, <laughs> Can you uh, explain it for me? Uh, if you should have three water purifiers. There you go. I I was able to fish out a lucky cat. Excuse me. <laughs> I genuinely don't know what that is. Oh, dude, my hook broke. Time for it's a new okay. one. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. uh, do we want some storage? Is that something we're thinking we're, we want to do? I'm I'm trying to deal with the oh, massive no. hierarchy of needs right now. Uh, so I made a little whoopsies. Uh, the uh, I was trying to remove the water cup. Ah, uh, you removed the filtration device. Yes. Well, uh, put it well, back. There you go. Yeah, yeah. All right. So I need to get it. A cup here. Yeah, yeah I'll get I'll yeah. get one boiling for you. In order to drink the fresh water when it's done, you have to have an empty cup to swap it with, basically. Got it. You know what? Check it out. You ever go to one of those buffets and it's got like a bread grilling station and a salad bar? Hell you got yeah. a little aisle of culinary delights you can walk through right here. Excuse me, did you say bread grilling station? You've never seen a bread grilling station? Like a toaster? I, sorry, I just drank salt water accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh yeah, now my dude, he's like real displeased about yeah. life. <laughs> um, yeah, like not a toaster, but like a an open like barbecue style grill, and then you uh, you butter some bread, and then you place it on the grill, and you take it off when it gets the grill marks on. Ooh, I got a blueprint for an antenna. What kind of a uh, moosh boosh restaurant is that? Well, I'll level with you. It was a place in my hometown, and I've never seen it since. Yeah, so, I've never heard of bread <laughs> grilling. It sounds delightful. Might not actually be a, a thing, but... Hey, it is in southern Ontario, I guess. Anybody else at, at starvation level right now? Not yet. I'm going to take this fish, then. Please do. I'm, I'm in a, a dire spot. But I got two uh, water stations going on here. Okay. All right, there we go. He's back. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can, the, the, Madness, can you tell me what a, a wet brick is in the tool I have section? No <laughs> idea. I saw that too, and I was like, I don't, I don't understand. All right, I need plastic. I'm, I'm working on getting a research bench up. That's why I like the dynamic here. You know, I, I could not care less about having a research bench right now. <laughs> I'm we need one if we're gonna progress. Predominantly concerned with my own moment-to-moment -moment survival. Oh, hang on, I got my spear. Get out, bad boy. Naughty. Goodbye. All right, hooks All right. back up. We're good to go, boys. Oh, I All keep right. eating raw fish. 
There we go. There's our research bench. So I got, there's one simple rule. You know, John Ritter said there's eight rules for dating my teenage daughter. There's only one rule. There's only one rule on the raft. If you drink water, refill the cup. Okay. Hey, I'm, I'm a simple man. Anybody hey, need some fresh water? There's- I do. They, this one is doing well. So, I'm gonna make a second grilling station too. If you got something on, I'm trying to like turn it off. Uh, never mind. Okay, we're good. Uh, fill with fresh water. Look at that. One Minecraft can take you like ten years to get to the point where you're self-sufficient. <laughs> the raft, the ocean provides everything we need. It's kind of nice. The, it's yeah, the we dirtiest ocean water. in the world, though. I mean, it, it, dude, this is just what like the Pacific Ocean looks like now. I don't know if you watch the news, but like this is it's all just microplastics and, you know, engine parts from MH370. <laughs> so you guys ever drive around and see those like residential dumpsters? They're like long. They look like trailers, but they're made out of metal. Yeah. So like I've been seeing those a lot lately and they're all filled up. And then will we just bury that stuff. Is that what happens to it? Dude, for real? Yeah. Uh, I mean, some of it goes to like landfills, but some of it, like, we pay other countries to store the garbage. Really? And then we ship it overseas, <laughs> like on <laughs> on barges and stuff like that. And what do they do with them? They just put it like you know on a landfill, essentially wherever it can go. Oh, well, that eventually that's not going to work anymore. Yeah. <laughs> or... <laughs> you're you're not wrong. <laughs> that's absolutely true. So then what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking like, I keep seeing these dumpsters and I'm like, We're, they can't bury all this, you know? Yeah. I mean, I don't think they bury garbage to begin with. No? Burn it, maybe? Yeah, Burn that it. seems like really bad for the... Environment? Yeah, no, <laughs> for, you're yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> for like the groundwater and the, you know, the et cetera and the et cetera. Hey, dude, you guys, you've been eating a mercury rich diet. Here you go. Here's, I'm gonna... Grill you up a raw beet in case anybody wants, uh, you know, some phytonutrients or something. Um, yeah, you get to that. I'm gonna get on uh, getting a paddle up next so we can move. Oh, we can steer ourselves. Yeah. All so right. Here, yeah. Uh, we have like a big, we have a big raft off to the, well, off in the distance that we can't get to because it's floating the wrong way. Hear me out. So. I know Mathis maybe should have, have built this, but. A grow bed? I mean, <laughs> gotta gotta keep it gotta keep it green. You know what I'm saying? Get it? Yeah, yeah. Weed. Pardon me. I sir. like to smoke it. Well, I, I yeah. will say this, Mathis. You you got us past the first ten minutes without doing anything to demonetize. It. Yeah, and then well, there's no like weirdly <laughs> weirdly like modeled eight year old butts. So, you know. That's not me, man. That was that was the game I mean, designer. you threw in the part about her being eight years old. Well, that that's what real. makes it weird. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's why it's something important <laughs> to mention. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're so close to being on the same page. Well, that's that's what makes us. You know, in my work. Resident Evil stream, people were like, "How old is Mathis?" And I said, <laughs> "He's older five than years older than me." And yeah, then mentally, chat, though, five chat years was younger. like, "He's fifty-five." <laughs> hey Mathis, how old are you? I am gonna be 33 very soon. Oh, you're not oh. five years older than me. My mistake. Uh, no, no, I am not. All right. Um, what's going on with this beat here? Ah! <laughs> you bit me. Oh, well, you know, just, <sighs> just just eat up, dude. You, if you're hungry, grab a grab a beat. I need water. Is what I need right now. Well, you know, that should be no problem. This is a really interesting game. Instead of adventuring, the adventure comes to you. Um, well, we, we will adventure eventually. I can't help but notice we had two water purifiers. Neither of them had any salt water being purified right now. Do you like being thirsty? <laughs> Do you like being thirsty? Man, um, well, according to your chat, it. I'm always thirsty, boy. Let's oh, we go. can research. So, okay. I like the division of labor. Mathis is worried about future prospects. I'm going to expand the raft by this remaining row. And then Dan's got uh, food consumption. Yeah, yeah. Well, food creation. Yeah. 
That's that's fair. Food consumption is like an insult, I guess. Yeah, like I mean, <laughs> all the food. I'm, they call, I Dan didn't, is just when I, eating when, everything. When I was uh, coaching, there's this guy, this coach that gave me a hard time, and uh, he goes, oh, "Spear duty, please." He yep. goes, uh, "You're an orange eater." I go, oh. "Excuse me." I go, "What do you mean by orange eater?" It's like you know the kids, at, you know, at, at halftime of a soccer game, all they do is eat the oranges and they don't play in the game. He's like, that's you. And I'm like, that's not a very nice thing to say. Dude, that's a huge insult. Yeah. 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 But I'm not an orange eater on the raft, I'll tell you that. Dude, you know what I miss about uh, casual sports as a preteen? Was those mm. big orange jugs of like Gatorade powder mixed with yeah. water. Oh. You, you don't get those as adults anymore. I don't know, maybe you, if you play softball or something, you do. Yeah, I mean, it's got to be a pretty serious softball league. If you're... I, I know. <laughs> you miss being a kid for, like, that reason? When I was a kid, if I was hungry, I could eat, like, half of an orange, and I was good for, like, four hours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, like, I think about being a kid, and it's like your concerns are very little. Yeah. But you also your what you Life can do experiences is also. Are. Yeah. yeah, but what you can do is not very much, you know. That is can true. It, is it me or did the, the rushing water get incredibly loud? It is louder. Yeah. Okay. There's no doubt about that. I don't have to load the audio again. Oh, dude, I'm like fully hydrated. Yeah, I need to eat and drink. So I think uh, maybe I'll make a fishing rod along with Dan. Yeah, mine broke. That way we have a constant supply of food. Because water is no problem now. We're going to need, or I'm going to need a new hook soon, I think. It's going to sound insulting, but like water is no problem as long as you remember to drink. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I need to grab a few more rope. So how far have you played in this, Mathis? Like, Not too far. I had like a semi second floor going on my raft, but the technology tree wasn't too far. A second floor? Yeah, you can do that. Like with stairs? Yeah, you can get stairs and I'll build all kinds of stuff. Why'd you stop playing it, Mathis? Um, I kind of got bored of it at the time. It was also really early in the game's uh, development, so there wasn't a ton of content. I don't know if that's changed since I played, but I got you. All right, so we got some fish. I'm going to get, get some fish brewing here, boys. We got two uh, barrels coming our way. Water's looking good. fresh. Wait, can you have fresh water? Nah, you can't. You can't have fresh water sitting and then having a second one ready to oh, go. God. Uh, what do you mean? Like, so if the fresh water's sitting there in a cup, you can't put a salt water cup in the middle. You got to take the fresh water before you brew a fresh one. Correct. That makes sense? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I caught a candle bottle. Mm -hmm. Let me see what's going on with that candle bottle. Oh, candle dude, bottle? I think it's uh, I think it's a like furniture piece. Ooh, trying to see where it. Here you go. Check this out. Well, I don't know if maybe at night it lights up. <laughs> <laughs> right now it's just a candle, but you know, in the future, who knows? Do we have to light it? That's what I'm wondering. I mean, the the purifiers light themselves, but. It's uh, loot boxes. Yo. I know I'm speaking your language. Yeah. Why are like loot boxes? Is it just because it's just gambling? Is that why it's fun? Oh, I thought you were going to say, why are they disliked? But <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, why are they fun? I think that's pretty much it. You know, I, I think there's like something inside of the human brain that is just like, you know, knowing what you're going to get out of something. I sleep. But like, who knows what you could get out of this? The brain like is like, this is amazing. Like, I wonder if I'm gonna get brimstone and polyphemus on this run. Dude, this pretty much like, roguelites are kind of like, uh, just free to play loot boxes. Yeah. Speaking of free to play, did you guys, are you guys pre-ordering the new Star Wars game? It's, it's from I'm, Respawn, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. Respawn, I trust. It'll I don't, probably I don't, be good. Apparently it's gonna play a lot like Souls. Ooh. Right. It's gonna be about deflection, parries, and dodging, and like, uh, like more intricate combat. At least that, that's what they're saying. You know, I'll believe that when I see it. 
Yeah, I want to see some gameplay. But if that ends up being the case, that'd be kind of a cool change of pace for a Star Wars game. Yeah, you know, it would also be a cool change of pace for a Star Wars game is for it to be uh, any good at all. I was just going to say a good one. <laughs> Mm, did you forget about Knights of the Old Republic? No, I didn't forget mm. about it. It was it's released been... when I was 17 years old. <laughs> I was gonna say it's been like 20 years. <laughs> Half of my life ago. <laughs> it doesn't really stand the test of time, does it? it Mal's does. playing it right now. And it's uh, an RPG, you know what I mean? Like it's hard to graphically maybe not, but mechanically it plays like a D D game, which is mm. hard for it to I mean, I loved poorly. it when it came out. That was before speedruns even existed. Like, I beat uh, Knights of the Old Republic, and it took, like, 40 hours or something. And then I beat it again, and it took, like, less than 10 hours. And I was like, <laughs> dude, maybe this is, like, my future. Oh. But then after that, I never played it again. So what makes it good? The, just that Star Wars and it's well done? Because, like, I I've loaded it up, and I'm like, I think I missed the boat on it. You know? For the era that it came out, mm -hmm. it was like the the fact that there were branching paths depending on the choices you chose to make in the story and like your build changing, like the opportunities available to you changing based on whether you went light side or dark side was really mm -hmm. cool. It was it also, also kind of like one of the first Star Wars games to be like Jedi are everywhere and you're one of them. Yeah, like I, I appreciate it. It's kind of a unique Star Wars story instead of just like, you know, you're Luke again, or something like yeah. that. <laughs> Yo, did you guys see the letter that uh, Infinity Snore producer put out today? Oh my god. Uh, yes. Oh. What were you guys? So the letter says basically, uh, don't spoil the don't movie spoil for the people. Yeah, what yeah, are you guys' that's thoughts fair. on that? Don't spoil, don't spoil the movie. <laughs> I know, but you, don't you think that's just like Stoke in the Flame? <laughs> Well, I think it came out because I, what, 10 minutes of footage X, like leaked from somewhere. Oh, yeah. So like it was an emergency, like, hey, if you see it, don't. don't uh, but I, I mean, I do kind of agree with you where I'm like, you know. It does stoke <laughs> the flames a little bit. Yeah, It's more just like, uh, you know, if you tell someone not to do something, there's a <laughs> chance they're going to do it. A greater chance they're yeah. going to do it. Yeah. yeah. How does a movie like that get leaked in this day and age? So Somebody they were working was, on it, right? No, dude, it was uh, there was a private showing of the movie mm. for uh, a very wealthy individual. And apparently they or somebody that was like at the showing with them surreptitiously recorded the film <laughs> right? and then cut it into like a super spoiler cut and then released it online. <laughs> You have to be incredibly bored with your life. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it's just right, a troll move. Just pontificating, what do you think that screening cost? I, I'd imagine like six figures. Oh, I was going to say borderline a million, no? Well, it, it wouldn't surprise me, yeah. I mean, I'm like, how do you even get Marvel to like answer your emails at that level? I'm like, it's compromising 11 years of work, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars for one guy or one girl or whatever, one family. Yeah, money you speaks. Know. Yeah, but that's, like, I know you're right. How much? It'd have yeah. to be a lot. Do you guys want to call this one here? By the way, it's been 28 minutes. It's just flown right by. Damn. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I guess so. All right. Well, uh, thanks for watching. We'll be back momentarily with another one. So far, so good on Raft. If you enjoyed it, check out multiple perspectives. Of course, uh, you can peep the squad stream. Oops, just kidding. Wrong platform. <laughs> and uh, peep multiple perspectives in the video description below. For now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. See ya. Goodbye, everybody.